Hi guys, I'm going to help you uh, go through your lab sheet. I'm going to do the first couple of trials with you so you understand exactly what you're supposed to be doing and then you'll complete the rest of this worksheet for your homework. All right, so you were supposed to get some materials together. Um, the materials were basically three of something of one color, uh, two of which had a dot on it and then a red something of another color. Uh, I'm using beans here. So I have three white beans and then two of them I put black dots on. I actually put black dots on both sides, so when I pull them out I immediately know I don't have to flip them around. And then I have one red bean. I want them all kind of the same size, uh, that way when I'm choosing them, my mind isn't going for the bigger one or something like that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Look at my board. Um, I see that on my board, white beans are going to be my X chromosome, okay? So if I'm a female, I have to have two X's. If I'm a male, I have to have an X and a Y. Well, my red bean is going to be my Y. So here is my mom. This is my mom here. This is my dad cup here. So in my mom cup, here's what I want to put. Two of the white beans, one of them that has a dot. So one white bean with no dot and one white bean with a black dot. That's mom. 2X chromosomes. Uh, Dad is going to have the other white bean for his X chromosome with a dot on it. And then he's got to have a Y chromosome because as we know, mom is XX and dad is XY. This is an X, this is an X, this is an X, this is a Y. Okay? The dot on each is representing the mutated gene. It's representing that recessive allele for color blindness. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to have some offspring. Um, and we're going to close our eyes and just kind of see what comes out. So you're going to shut your eyes. You're going to kind of mix them around. And you're going to pull out one of each. Okay? Now, I just so happened to pull out two white beans with a dot on them. So the genotype... I have two white beans, those are X's, X, X. Each of them has the mutated gene form. So that's little c, little c. So this is my genotype, XX for the sex chromosomes. Both of them have a mutated recessive gene linked to them. So that's gonna be lowercase c, lowercase c. Now, next block on my worksheet is the sex. What is the sex of this organism that I just produced? Well, it has two X chromosomes, so this must be a female. Is she colorblind? Well, let's see. Um, she has a recessive gene linked to this X chromosome and a recessive gene linked to this X chromosome. She is homozygous recessive, so yes indeed, she is colorblind, okay? Now, that's all you do for the trial one. Now, put the beans back in and mix them up and do it again, okay? Now, this time, I ended up with one white bean from the mom with a dot on it and one red bean from the dad. So let's see what we have. The white bean with the dot. White bean is an X, it has a dot, so it has a mutated gene, so it's going to have little c, right? Now, then I have a red bean from the dad. Red bean is a Y. Does it have a C associated with it? Absolutely not, because remember, the genes for colorblindness are only found on the X chromosome. They're not found on the Y. So, we have an X and a Y, so this has to be a male, right? Now, this male has a lowercase c. Having the lowercase c means that he's recessive. Again, there's no, there isn't a second allele here. He only has one. It's recessive, so that's what shows. So yes, he is colorblind. Now, let's pretend that I pulled out um, a red bean and a white bean with no dot. Okay. In this instance,
If I have a red bean and a white bean with no dot, I have X with a capital C because there's no dot on it. It's not mutated. It's the dominant form. And then I have a Y. We know that X and Y is going to give me a male. We know that there's only one allele associated with this gene. It is a capital C. It is dominant. So he's normal. So no, he's not colorblind. So you're going to go through the rest of your worksheet and do a total of 10 trials. And then you're going to answer the questions at the end. And you'll need to send me that worksheet for your homework.